Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, I'm going to explain why the word force in electromotive force is not entirely incorrect. So the electromotive force is, of course, associated with potential, the difference in voltage between one place and another place. And let me connect this so that it looks like a complete circuit. But let's assume that we have a battery here which raises the potential energy of charges and therefore it raises the potential, the voltage of these charges or where these charges are at. And then as they run down the circuit, they go from a higher potential down to a lower potential. Typically, a higher potential is associated with an excess of positive charges and that's what a battery provides. It provides an excess of positive charges on one side and a lower potential is associated with an excess of negative charges. Since there's a separation of positive and negative charges, there will be an existence of an electric field between those two places. An electric field can also be thought of as the ratio of the potential difference divided by the distance between them. The greater the potential difference, the stronger the electric field. The smaller the distance, the stronger the electric field. And so, since the potential difference is created by the battery, and of course, when we talk about potential, we think about voltage. And when we think about voltage, we think about electromotive force. So the battery provides an electromotive force, a higher potential to drive charges through the circuit. Because the difference in potential causes an electric field to exist. And what does an electric field do to charges? Well, it turns out that if you place a charge, Q, in an electric field, E, that charge is going to experience a force. And the magnitude of the force is equal to the magnitude of the electric field times the size of the charge. So in essence, charges in a conductor will experience a force because there will be an electric field in the conductor that physically drives the charges through the conductor. The charges actually experience a force. And since the electric field is caused by a difference in potential, which is caused by an electromotive force, you can kind of think of the electric motor force as being the force that drives the charges through the conductor. However, to be technically correct, the force is caused because there's an electric field there caused by the electromotive force. Hmm, oh well, what can you say? The word force is kind of correct when you think about it in these terms, but to be technically correct, the electromotive force simply provides a potential difference from one end of the circuit to the other end of the circuit, which causes an electric field to exist, which drives the charges through the conductor. That's the best way to think about it. 